just trying to do a audio and a video check. You guys are able to hear me, right? Please do acknowledge in the chat window if you can hear me. All right, perfect. That's great, Chitan and Gorish. So let's get started with today's session. Let's uh, do a small recap of what was being covered across earlier on. All right, so what all things did we study in the previous session would request you to please do type in across in the chat window. And then we move further with today's session. All right, yes, we did start with email marketing. Absolutely, yes. The landing page preparation with the help of uh, Insta page, that is correct. Did you guys try out making the application website? Absolutely, yes, which was the uh, Appy Pie, right? So, did you try? You tried, all right. So, both the landing page and also the Appy Pie thing. All right, perfect. That's great. Gorishan, that's great. Chitanya. I think I did see the landing page which uh, was being created. I'll just go ahead and open that across. And did you try out uh, the email platform also, which is MailChimp? Did you guys try sending out? No, not yet. Okay. How would you? Uh, okay, not yet. Okay, so please do try that out. And with regards to the domain, guys, I have spoken to Nitin. That's something. All right, so I believe there was some issue, guys. Uh, now uh, I'm moving on further. I hope the screen is visible and also the audio part is clear, right? Okay. So I'm just opening across the Insta page tool. Give me a second. All right, so there's the, quite many uh, pages which I'm able to see right now over here. All right, so this is... Okay, these pages have been created by you. All right. So you haven't published it yet. You want help in terms of getting them published? Well, if you have a WordPress-based website, then I can really teach you. Do you have the credentials of your website? 
let me know if in case you have faced any problem with regards to landing page creation or any particular element of the landing page questions doubts queries you have uh, whatever queries questions doubts queries you have feel free to put that across in the chat window please Are you good, Goresh, Chitanya? Are you guys good? No query, no doubt as such. Okay, no doubt. All right, so I'll go ahead and then move further ahead. So email, guys, I have shown you. It's just that you have to practice it, and once you practice it, you'll get some records. You'll get some, uh, you know, results out of it. Then you can let me know. You can share it with me. So that I can um, have a look and give you some more suggestions. Now today I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about the website part, guys, which was the very first and the foremost thing. Have you guys decided upon that the domain name? So I think there was uh, Chaitanya or Goresha, either of you was who was saying that you haven't decided on the name of the website which you want to keep. Have you decided on that part? the name of the website all right you have decided and how about you goresh chitanya has decided on the name and goresh are you clear on what exactly you want want to keep across the name for your domain I'll just go ahead and open a crossover document where I have listed down all the steps with regards to the website formation. The same document which I have used earlier, I'm going to be using that across again. All right, so when I say earlier, in the sense, the very first session, if you remember, we had uh, covered how do we go ahead and set up across a website. All right, so. The very first and the foremost thing for a web for a website which we need across is a domain, and the second thing is the hosting. So we'll start with buying across a domain first, where I would need uh, you guys to go ahead and procure the domain, whatever amount you would be spending across. I'll get that reimbursed, but the hosting would be provided by me. You don't need to spend on the hosting. With regards to domain, it's just going to be 100, 120 Indian rupees. That's it, which needs to be spent in across. So to book a domain, one of the greatest tricks through which you can find, get across a domain for a cheaper price is by going onto Google and typing in across the keyword like maybe buy cheap domains, buy domain for cheap, or buy domains for less. So as you can see, after I have typed in across this keyword guys, which is buy domains for less, these are the advertisements which you are seeing. The very first and the foremost one is by Big Rock. The second one for GoDaddy. There's no audio. My goodness. So Goresh is still facing problem with the audio again. Chaitanya, can you hear me? For you, it's clear. So every session there is trouble. So Goresh, there's some error. One second, we're also. All right, so I'm moving ahead. Um,
All right, so, so then what do you need to do is in that case, once you have typed in across this keyword, which is buy domains for less. Now, this is just a trick to get across a domain for a lesser price. Once you have typed in that, do not go with all the other options which are underneath, all right, in the organic space, but just type in across in the paid section, the GoDaddy ad, all right, the GoDaddy ad. So I'm clicking onto that. All you have to do is now within this URL, within, I mean, within this page, this page, which GoDaddy's landing page, which has opened up over here, type in the name of the website. Okay. Which you're looking at and see whether it's available or not. So for an example, On this log yeah, so I hope you have never booked a domain from your uh, IP address or from your you know machine you're using right now. If you have not, or now Goresh, you can hear me. Perfect. In the past, then only you'll be able to book a domain for a lesser price. So that's one thing. So GoDaddy doesn't allow to procure a domain for 99 rupees more than once for one user. So how GoDaddy actually ensures that by keeping a track, GoDaddy ensures that only one person gets across this offer by keeping a track of the IP address in the machine, or right, the computer or the laptop and so forth. And that is through uh, every machine has got a unique Mac ID, basically. All right, a machine ID. So machine ID and the IP address is something you did earlier, Goresh, then I'm not sure whether you through phone through mobile phone you actually do that. And I'm I'm showing you the trick again, what you have to do in order to get across for a lesser price. You have to go, go to Google, type in across this URL. Type in across sorry, this keyword. Buy domains for less and so forth. And then the advertisement which you're seeing before that, you can go ahead and click on this. Similarly, even Big Rock one will also work. If you have already done Goresh for GoDaddy, either you can use across a mobile phone this time or you can use across Big Rock rupees plus taxes along with taxes, it will come out to somewhere close to 120 rupees. Now, type in across the URL, sorry, the uh, website name which you want. So, let's say the website name which you want is all right. So, let's say I'm just giving an example that this is the domain which I'm looking for. Similarly, you can do a search from your side. All right, so as you can see, this domain, it's, it's shared on the same page, guys. The actual price for this is 950 to be for the first year. All right, so just confirm me once you're Once you're on this page, the voice is breaking up. One second. All right, so I'm just going to speak further again and let me know if the voice still breaks up. What I have done is I have gone on to godaddy.com with the help of this particular advertisement of GoDaddy. All right. The moment I have clicked onto the GoDaddy advertisement, this is the page, this is the landing page. Is the voice better now? All right. So once you have gone onto this page, you have to search for, you have to search for the name for which you, for, by which you want your website to be known across as your domain name which you want to procure. Okay. So let's say this is my domain name which I want. I go ahead and type that across. And here's the price. Here's the price which I've been shown. 
for which I'm going to go ahead and get it across for. Let me know once you're on the same page, Goresh and Chaitanya. Guys, let me know once uh, you're on the same page. I'm okay. I'm asking once you're on this page where you can see the, the domain which you are looking for that is available along with the price. Once you're on this screen, once you're on this kind of a screen, let me know, then I'll go ahead and move further with the next step. All right, perfect. So, and how are you, Goresh? Are you on the same screen? Can you see the domain name, which is which you're looking at? You're on the same screen, all right. Now, what you have to do is you have to add it to the cart. It's verifying the availability. You have added to, added it to the cart. Now, the next thing would be to go ahead and sign up. Okay. I've added it to the cart. Now I want to, I will click on to continue to continue to cart and we will purchase this guys. We'll purchase the domain. All right, so since you can see, it tells me that we can only offer such great promotions by limiting them to one per, one per customer. I've already purchased it. That's why uh, I'm, I'm getting this stuff. But I would request you to go ahead and click on to continue to the cart and it will show you these options. Make sure that it's selected as one year, not two years. Okay. So let me know if you are, what, what pricing are you able to get? Make sure you have selected it for one year and from this section, protect your personal information. You can go for leave my contact information public and don't buy across any other additional thing which will ask you, okay? So what is the total price which you can see guys for yourself, for your domain? All right, so what is the total cost guys? What is the total price which you can see on your computer screen? Are you able to get it like somewhere close to 100, 10, 120 kind of a thing? 120. It's 359. All right. So have you ensured that this is uh, leave my contact information public plus you have selected one year? Have you ensured that? And and does it say that your promotional code is active? So for me, it's not active because I've already purchased it in the past. That's why ensure that these things are being applicable, are being applied and they're applicable. And so then it says, please carry on due to some net problem I couldn't be able to do now. All right, so you won't be able to, uh, okay, you won't be able to carry out, all right. You have purchased one domain name earlier, no problem. So we can use that. I can give you the hosting for that. So Goresh, do you need hosting for that domain, which you've already purchased? You can uh, log into that particular panel. And uh, Chaitanya, if you will not be able to book the domain, then uh, I'll, I'll show the process, but how will I give you the hosting part? That's where the thing is. Try if you can do it right now. 
hosting okay goresh you have already taken hosting so you don't need domain and hosting from my side okay chetan i'm sure you can try now all right so goresh it's uh, for your friends business okay so do you want the domain for yourself and hosting from our end for your so a domain and hosting or else you need that so you would have to carry out that process then but uh, if you getting it across as at a higher price can you follow this approach on a mobile phone with your yeah please sit and go ahead with your doubt so goresh you can follow this process on to a mobile phone and type in across the name of the domain which you are looking at and then add it to the cart perfect right so then you can let me know your doubt okay whenever you have any questions guys you can let me know i'm waiting till once you are done with this or let them let me know chitan and goresh if in case you guys face any trouble i'm waiting okay and once we book the domain then we'll move forward All right, so then it says if I start my start an e-commerce site, shall I promote my site products and the shipping and will be done from other e-commerce sites like Amazon, Flipkart? I'll get commission for selling product. Well, okay, you want to go ahead and uh, start with a affiliate model. Is that what you're trying to say? So you don't want to upload across any product from your site onto your e-commerce site, and you want to showcase across. Amazon and Flipkart's uh, overall product, right? Is that what you're trying to do? You don't want to get across your products on your e-commerce side. You want products of Flipkart of uh, Amazon to be shown across. Is that so? So none none of the products are going to be yours. All right. So that is the affiliate model, and definitely we'll work on that. So there there is a different approach for which. we would be taking a cross and whenever there is going to be a sale of a product on amazon on flipkart because after it's been referred from your website definitely you'll get a affiliate fees i affiliate commission basically so we'll definitely work on that but for that process also to get it done we do need a website first right which would help in getting uh, the affiliate products from all the other e-commerce websites which we want and there are certain affiliate what do you say programs which are being provided by all these uh, bigger websites right you can go ahead and sign up over there mention all your details about your website and so forth and they'll review your uh, you know request and then decide whether they should approve it or disapprove it and so forth once they'll approve and you'll start getting traffic onto your website and with traffic being there on your website you can go ahead and monetize that traffic with all those sales which will happen across on the end website whether it's flipkart or uh, you know amazon and so forth who's amazon you're going to be who's uh, uh, affiliate you're going to be you'll get across your affiliate fees okay and amazon and uh, all these other people they do have their own affiliate with flipkart and so forth they have their own affiliate uh, program which you would have to sign up and 
get yourself registered as an affiliate then that process will work or it goes says now it's 99 for one year total 111 or right, so you can go ahead and purchase that across then i'll let you know and similarly chetanya you can also go ahead and buy across your domain this way i mean uh, try this approach let's let's book the domain at least first and let me go ahead and give you the hosting part also and give you a glimpse of what needs to be done but that part chetanya whether uh, it's an affiliate kind of a website or non affiliate and so forth in both the scenarios you do need a website url first the domain first of all to get started with All right, so let me you know once we have the domain guys. We want to click on to All right, so just keep me updated, guys. Once it's been done, I'm just gonna be on mute for one second. All right, so once you have purchased the main All right, so I hope you guys are working across onto it. So, all right, I'm going to wait for more minutes.
or assistant so yes but what i selected domain is not available now again i'm looking for some other all right sure absolutely once you'll be booking the domain then i'll be going ahead and giving you the hosting All right, Gorish. I believe you're also working onto it. All right, perfect. Thanks, Gorish, for acknowledging. All right, you're in process. All right, thanks, Gorish. Right, Chaitanya, I believe you're also follow you're also going ahead and buying the domain right away. I want to actually give you the hosting today itself once you're done with the domain. And whatever price you're gonna be spending across, or the amount got changed to five ninety nine plus taxes, I think it's taken across into payment got cancelled. Okay. And and you were doing it through phone only, Goresh? Okay, so now with that, uh, can you try with Big Rock then, Boris? Since you've already purchased a domain in the past from GoDaddy, that's why you know they've got several ways through which they detect. So when you type in buy cheap domains. Or buy domains for less and so forth. Try try with the other ad account, the other ad basically, which was by Big Rock. Yeah, Big Rock. This one, Big Rock button, as you can see, the second one. So you can search for your domain Goresh on this Big Rock thing also.
All right, so Chitana, you have got that. So how much money did you spend in terms of buying this? Yeah, absolutely. Variety sweet. So okay, the name you're asking, absolutely. It's perfectly fine, yes. Once, uh, whenever you have any trouble again, you can let me know in the chat window, guys. Koresh, you're getting it for two ninety nine with Big Dog. All right, so I think then you would have to really go ahead and uh, call up these people maybe on Monday because today they won't be able to answer across your phone call and so forth. And you have to let them know that you are looking for a domain at a lesser price, which is 99 only, which the offer which they have. That is one, or you can even try it calling up the GoDaddy people, both of them will help you from whichever one will give you at a lesser price. Okay, previously protected, activated. See, it's saying previously protected, and that's what we don't need. Okay. And how do we really go ahead and so privacy protection is something which we don't need. This is strange there, now it's just letting us Go further, the only way to do that is to proceed. Let me just see. All right, so I can delete this privacy protection from here, Goresh. All right, but this price, I am getting it across for 639 as of now. Just check, is it, is it lesser for you? Because since I have already, you know, purchased in the past, that's why I'm being given across this amount. Are you able to get it across for 99? Sure.
or it would you say no uh what is the amount which is it's, it's 735 same showing it for you so i think they are able to detect that you have actually purchased a domain in the past so maybe even for big rock also you have done that now the only thing is that you can actually go ahead and call them up right so they the phone number is right up, up uh, over there and, and let them know that you are booking it across for the very first time. No one else has booked the domain within your IP. Oh yes, absolutely, Gorish. That's what you can try doing that. I'm just seeing if this another website which is called ZNet Live, they're offering also domain at a lesser price. Yeah, anything could be traced. Either the uh, contact number can get tracked, the email address, or sometimes the IP address, and uh, sometimes the credit card details also. So all in all, uh, you know, these all things can actually, if you're using them all for the first time, then you will get it across pretty easily, a domain for a lesser price. So this website doesn't seem to be working. So they're giving for 189. All right, so this is something which is not working. So let's let's grab this. So the only one which works across in my previous batch, I have given across five domains to five five trainees, and that was through GoDaddy only. Other way which you can try out is let me just see if this works. I'm using incognito. Let's try with incognito mode. All right, so I'm trying out GoDaddy once again. All right, so just trying to check if I can get across something now again. Adding it to the 
cart a cart I'm just trying to add it to the card. It's not moving ahead. Okay. There you go. Okay. Their support team, Goresh, is available 24 by 7 at this number. I'm going to select across for one year. See, this is saying promotion has been applied to your part. Can you try in an incognito mode? I hope you guys go to the Google Chrome. It gives you the incognito window when you click on these three right so you try out with incognito that would work hopefully all right so it says one twenty seven rupees guys for me and I'm in the incognito mode. Chetanya, are you able to? Uh, are you facing any issue? Let me know. I'm keeping my information public. This is for one year. I'm clicking on repeat to check out. All right, so now it's asking me to go ahead and uh, sign up over here. All right, I can click on to create an account. They're there on the final page. That's great, Chaitanya.
All right, so this is only giving across a credit card option or a prepaid card also. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pause the screen, guys. I'll resume it once I'm okay. That's great, Chetan. If you're done. All right, so Chitane, you are also done with your order that's been submitted, right? Perfect. And how about you, Gaurish? Did you try with the incognito? Oh, okay, sure, sure. Thank you, thank Perfect, guys. That's great. So both of you are actually on the same page now. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, share with you the next step ahead, and I'm also going to grant you the hosting. Okay. Just give me a second. So I believe you must have got emails like this, where you now what do you have to really save across with for your GoDaddy is your username and password for sure, and then there is this customer ID number. Here is this. So in your email, guys, you would get across a customer ID number. You need to go ahead and 
save this video. So this customer ID number is going to be utilized at later stage also when you will be logging in for your GoDaddy account. This is another thing which it will be asked. So I'm going ahead and saving this across within my account. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know what exactly I need from you. I'm just going to save mine and I'll, I'll let you know the details guys. Uh, I'll let you know the steps. What needs to be done? I'm just gonna be All right, so let me know if it has been resolved now. I have fixed up the internet and it should not break up now. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be working across onto our account once again. Are you able to hear me now perfectly or is the voice still breaking up? It's perfect, okay. All right, so Gorish and Chaitanya, what do we need to do now as a step two is to go ahead and uh, by the hosting part, but the hosting part is something which I don't want you to invest on. I'll be going it from I'll be going ahead and doing it from my side. But let's say uh, in a different scenario, when you have to purchase hosting from your side, you can buy it across from various different hosting provider. But one of the most renowned hosting provider guys is Hostgator. Hostgator is one of the good ones. So I'm saying it from my experience. It's been 15 years I've been using this and it's been working really well. When you have to buy across hosting also guys, you would be following the same process which you follow while buying across something, okay? What you would be needing across is, first of all, the server, the hosting uh, plan which you want to buy across. So let's say I'm clicking on to get started now and the most Cheapest hosting option, which it has got, is somewhere close to $3.95 per month and so forth. So you can sign up for that. Don't do it right now. I'm, I'm going to give it to cross to you. So all the only investment which you guys have, have done just now is the domain part, which I'll get it uh, reimbursed by asking Nathan, okay, in your bank account. So I think it's 127 rice, which, right, which both of you have spent in across for the domain. All right, right, Gorish, and also Chitanya, for you, it's been the same amount, 127, or is it something different? 
All right, it's the same. Okay. Now, if you will be, let's say, in a scenario when you want to go ahead and buy across hosting yourself, if these are the small little things which you need to need to enter, like your domain name, what plan are you looking at, and what's the billing cycle? How much are you willing to pay? If you're going to buy it across for three years, then only it would be, you know, somewhere close to four dollars per month. But if it if not, then it's else it's going to be like for eleven dollars a month kind of uh, amount. Okay. Now, with that being said, all you have to do is uh, you have you have to enter across a username, a PIN code. All right, you have to set that up. You have to set up across your billing information, and don't go for these extra stuff to begin with. And then you need to pay across the price. All right, that's what. Once you will be buying across hosting, guys, you will be provided with three things. Once you will buy hosting, I'm just going back to my same document which I have used earlier also when I have taken this first session. I told you that once the domain has been bought, you have to go ahead and purchase hosting, and the hosting provider will give you two, three things, guys. One is the uh, C panel URL, the control panel URL. Okay, through the URL as in the address through which you can go ahead and log into your control panel. And along with the control panel login URL, you'll also be provided across by. Uh, you'll be also provided across username and password by the hosting provider. So three things, and the fourth thing is going to be the name server details. So hosting provider will give you three thing, four things, guys. Number A, it's going to provide you the username, and number B, it's going to provide you across the password for your C panel. Number C, it will provide you the login URL, and number D, it will also provide you guys name server details. Now, name server details is something which is needed in order to connect across your domain and your hosting server. In our case, we have purchased the domain from GoDaddy, and I'm going to give you the hosting from HostGator. So let me just go ahead and give you the hosting for the Post Gator, and then I'll show you how can you really go ahead and connect, connect the domain and the server basically with the help of name server details. The name server details, guys, in this case, in in my case where I am giving you the what do you say, hosting, right? In this case, the name server details, guys, which I have would be needed across is this. Let me just give it across to you. It's ns one dot internet hosting packages dot com ns two dot
or it's I'm so sorry, there's some issue with the internet, I believe. That's why it's been happening. And it, Chaitanya dropped from, yes, I can see it's, it's dropped. All right, so I'm just waiting, Gorish, for Chaitanya to jump in again. Then we'll for, for you know continue with this, continue with this in uh, remaining steps. All right, so I believe Chitanya is back. Just trying to check uh, Chitanya, you can hear, right? All right, perfect. So the name server details, which I have given across in the chat window, I hope they they are there with you. I'm gonna. Type in across those again. Like I said, name server details, the uh, cPanel details, name server details, the cPanel URL, plus the username and password of your cPanel. These are the four things which the these are the four things which are going to be provided by the hosting provider. All right, so that's something which I'm going to give you. I have given you one of the things, which is what, which is the name server details. You would have to use this name server details to do certain alterations within your GoDaddy account. So go back to your GoDaddy account, guys. Now over here, We would be going to, all right, so we have to go to the, first of all, click on to my products or domain manager. All right, so, so we are gonna update the name server details with the objective of connecting across our, the hosting server, which I'm gonna give you, and also, the domain which we have bought. So what we are doing, I have first of all clicked onto my products and underneath the my products, you can see this is the tab which comes across, this is the screen which we come across. You have to click onto, or it's the domain, so the domain section. You'd have to click onto the domain section, okay? And underneath the domain, you have to click onto domain settings. I'm being slow about it. I'm just. Are we on the same page? Are you guys on the same page? Now, now you have to click onto domain settings. All 
All right, so this is the page which is going to open up underneath the domain settings. I hope you guys can are there on the same page. Let me know wherever you have there is any gap. Once you're there on the domain settings page, you have to scroll down further and then click on to manage DNS. All right, shall I click onto it? If you want me to repeat, I can repeat it. If I can go back and repeat it. After, all right, so after manage, I just go back. All right, got issue clear. So this is the screen. What we did, we first clicked on to my products. That was first. My product was the step one once we have logged in. And in the my products page, domains, we have to go ahead and click onto the domains tab, click onto domain, and then click onto domain settings. Click on to domain settings. The moment you have clicked on to domain settings, you'll get this page, the domain settings page. You have to go further down and click on to manage DNS. DNS stands for domain name server. Domain name server. This is going to be the thing through which we will be able to connect across our hosting server with our domain. Okay. I'm clicking on to manage to DNS. All right, so this is the page which comes after clicking on to manage DNS, guys. Let's scroll down further on this page. And here you can see the change tab. Let me know once you are able to see the name server section with the change button right next to it. You're there on the same page. Perfect, Gorish. Or, okay, I think this is an old chat. Okay, no, this is a new chat, okay. All right, so I'm clicking on to change, and here, there is this UR drop down, which has got two options, default and custom, okay? We will be using across the custom tab. Click on to custom, and here are the name server details which needs to be punched in. I'm just going to go ahead and punch in across those name server details, which I have given it to you. It's ns1.internet hosting packages.com. ns2.internet hosting packages.com. All right, so that's we have to type in across, guys. And then let's go and, and click on to save. You're done? Perfect. All right, Quraish, you're done. How about you, Chaitanya? All right, you're done. Perfect. All right, so this is gonna take some time for name servers to actually get refreshed by Godaddy. Maybe uh, 20 minutes or maybe uh, an hour or maybe a couple of hours. I'm really not sure how much would that be. All right, so let's take a uh, break, guys. And after the break, we'll go ahead and do the other steps where I'll show you, I mean, where I'll give you the hosting and then we'll create across, uh, install across WordPress on our site. And then uh, with WordPress, we would be able to do multiple things. All right. So I'm just going to be on mute and we'll take a 20 minutes break. And after the break, we'll continue this process further. We've understood how do we really, so we have booked the domain and after booking the domain, I've told you what exactly things are there. And uh, we have edited the name server details. These name server details are of my hosting server. All right. So I'm just going to be on mute. Okay.
All right, let's get started after break, guys. Just trying to check if you can hear me. All right, perfect. Thanks so much, Chitanya, for acknowledging. Goresh, how about you? Can you hear me? All right, perfect. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give you across the C panel, the C panel for your respective uh, domains, okay? So give me a second. I'm just going to go ahead and open that across. So I think the incognito trick did work in our case, right? It was the incognito trick. Okay. So can you give me your uh, domain names, please, in the chat window? What are your domain names? I'm going to go ahead and provide you the cPanel credentials. All right, thanks so much, Goresh. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and give you across the username is this. All right, thanks so much, uh, Chitanya. All right, I'll just make cross your username to this. You can even let me know what password do you want for this. I can go ahead and create that also. You can also let me know the email address which you want me to punch in over here. Sorry, uh, C panel details are like this. The C panel login URL I have provided, and your username is something which you have given me. I'm keeping it as same, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share across the password with you. Just give me a second. All right, so this is something which you don't have to do uh, because I'm the server provider, right? I'm okay, sure, right. So I think that was all right. So I've uh, corrected the email and password. I'm letting you know. Perfect, and this is the name servers which we have. So I hope you guys have changed the name servers, right, the way I have shown you. So when you have saved the name servers, change the name servers as per the details which I have shared with you. And once your cPanel is set up, now we'll be able to go ahead and uh, do the WordPress installation in a while. So all right, so that's been done. And you've got all the details with you, right? So Goresh, you have got all the details. Now I'm going to go ahead and set it up for Chaitanya, just give me a second. My pleasure. All right, so the domain name in this case is going to be V A R I E T Y. I E T Y 
suites.com. I believe this is correct. Or is there any specific Chaitanya username which you want me to keep? Or this is okay? All right. And can you provide me the email address? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and set it up. All right, perfect. So I've got all of this set up, and here you go. I'm going to give you across all the details. So your website is going to be ready in a while, guys. All right, so both of your account has got ready. Now, the thing is we have to see whether, just give me one second, guys. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, show you the next step, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and set up across my account also. Now, the way I'm gonna uh, do for my account, you'll have to follow that same procedure. I'm just gonna set up across my server also. My cPanel, okay. I think this is the one which I have selected. All right, so once it's gonna be done, what I'll do, I'll work across on my C panel. Similar process has to be implemented for you, all right, by your end in order to get it set up. So can you just log into your C panel, guys? I would request you to log into your C panel. One second. 
All right, so you're in. I'm just going to go ahead and set up mine and show it across on my ID, on my cPanel, basically. All right, so the way you're gonna uh, open across your C panel is by typing in across your URL first, okay? So once you have uh, mentioned your URL, then forward slash cPanel. Forward slash cPanel, this is the default uh, URL for getting into the cPanel. I'm saying it again, your website name forward slash cPanel. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and enter the details. All right, Gorish, are you also there within your cPanel? Perfect. Now this would be the first screen which you would be able to see, right? Now over here, now over here we're gonna be implementing a cross guys, uh, a next step which is about installation. We would be installing across WordPress, okay? We would be installing across WordPress and how we are gonna be doing that across is, we will be going on to the bottom of this page, all right? Now you have to ignore the file section. You have to ignore the database section, ignore the domain section, ignore the email path, ignore the matrices, security, and then come onto the software section, guys. Now over here in the software section, click onto quick install. All right, so I'm saying it again. We have to go to the software section and click onto quick install. Go ahead and click onto quick install. All right, so the moment you're gonna go ahead and click on to quick install, this is the screen which you're gonna be seeing across. All right, so with that screen being there, you can see all these options, install WordPress, install Drupal, install Zoomla, install Magento and so forth, okay? Now the WordPress one, guys, you have to go ahead and uh, click onto this, get WordPress, okay? We have to click on to get WordPress, now, the moment you have clicked on to get WordPress, I believe you guys are doing at the same pace. I'm gonna speak a bit slower so that uh, everybody's on the same pace, same, same page. This button, which says install WordPress, we have to click this in order to install WordPress on our website. So I'm clicking on to install WordPress. And here's this a small form which needs to be uh, filled up in order to install the WordPress. The very first, uh, bar says this drop down uh, button is there. Select this and then your URL. Your website URL is going to be there. Select that. Okay, once you have selected this, the second one has to, has to remain uh, as it is. You don't have to punch in anything over here. Then you mention all the other things like your email address, what title do you want to keep for your website? So something of your choice, then your username, what you want the first time and the last time. Pretty simple step, okay? All right, so I believe everybody is on the same page. Let me know once you are done. Then we'll go ahead and click on to install WordPress.
All right, so the next thing is that is to go ahead and click on to install WordPress. Now, after clicking on to install WordPress, this pop-up comes in. You have to go ahead and uh, close this. We don't need this, okay? And here you can see it says that your install is getting is running. So your, the WordPress is getting installed. It will take a minute or two to get this installed in total. All right, now it's done. It says your install is complete. Click here to view your notifications and view credentials. So I'll go ahead and click onto this drop down arrow button. And here are the details, guys. Now, earlier we had the cPanel details, but now we have got the web, the WordPress admin details. Okay, the WordPress admin details are over here. So we got the WordPress uh, username, the WordPress login, the username, and the password. All right, so I'm just going to just so make sure you go ahead and save this across somewhere. All right, that's very important. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and save these details and then going to share across my screen once again. All right, so uh, I've shared my screen once again. I'm going to go ahead and click onto this link, the WordPress login link, and here's the WordPress login. Even the WordPress login, guys, the default login URL is your website name. As you can see, in my case, also, it's my website name, forward slash WP hyphen admin. Similarly, you can actually see it for your website too, right? It's your URL of your website, forward slash WP hyphen admin. That's the default default WordPress URL to the login URL basically. So you go ahead and click onto this and then it will be username and password which you have to enter over here. You can change it at a later stage, okay, by just clicking onto lost your password and so forth. Once you'll click on lost your password, it'll password will send you across a new password and so forth, okay? You can change it and so forth. Now I'm clicking on to login. One second. All right, so here you can see, uh, are you guys there on this? Same screen when you are logged in. Just let me know once you have reached this. All right, so Gorej says, yes, I am at this screen. All right, perfect. So then when you, once you are also there on the screen, you can let me know. Or in case you want me to, all right, you're there. Any doubt, any question you have, feel free to put that across in the chat window so that I can help you. Just give me one second. All right. Now here is the dashboard. This is the place, if you remember, we have used this for the purpose of, uh, you know, when we were doing SEO, when we were doing PPC, when it comes down to, you know, doing the search engine optimization of your website, the SEO Yoast was being enabled over here. Plus the other thing which was to do with the uh, conversion tracking code to be implemented, if you remember, all those plugins were being installed by us, and now you would be able to go ahead and implement all of those things for your website as well. Now, in terms of getting this website set up first, 
okay uh, first you can go ahead and uh, click on do i don't need help all right okay now the first thing which needs to be done across guys is click on to okay do you want to see how your website really looks like first you can click right up over here and then click on to visit site i have chosen this chosen the visit site option for in within a, in a, in a new tab basically okay now this is how the website actually looks like i believe for you also the website would be looking like this right so website looks very much like this i'm going back to the dashboard and over here what we need to do as a first step is to do a what do you say the work on the look and feel of the website so in order to work on the look and feel click on to appearance section okay just click on to remind me later on this appearance and then themes underneath appearance and then themes click over here all right so once you have clicked on to appearance and then themes this is the stuff which you can see right up over here okay and there are various themes which you will be able to see themes are nothing but these are ready made designs for your website which you can go ahead and enable and you will be able to once you will be able to enable them get them activated you will be you can go ahead and edit the existing content which will come with your theme you can delete some you can edit some and so forth right so this way your website would be prepared by you all by yourself as per your a uh, requirement as per what you want to be there on the website and without any uh, you know coding stuff needed and so forth it's all zero coding okay the on, on the top you can see this particular message which is coming across it says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page once you're ready to launch your site click here so you can go ahead and click here you can uh, if you want to do that you can go ahead and click uh, just click over here all right so that's what i have done your site is now live you can click here to view it so it's very much like the same which it was there earlier now in order to work on the themes part there are three themes which are mentioned over here i mean shown displayed over here you can click on to plus add new theme one website will have only one theme guys so it cannot have multiple themes one website cannot have multiple themes now the moment i clicked on to plus new theme there are so many themes which are shown across over here okay these are majorly the free themes okay now on the basis of what your objective is so let's say you know your website is related to some corporate identity you can go ahead and select themes on the basis of that let's say i've got a website related to marketing or maybe education this is an education uh related website which i want to get up which i want to set up across training coaching and so forth so i've typed in a url a typed in a keyword which says education and i can see multiple themes related to education over here okay i can go ahead and set up across i can go ahead and uh, choose in across one particular theme and uh, install that across similarly you guys can also go ahead and uh, look for various others themes of your choice oh, okay and set that up now let me tell you these themes which are there in front of us these are unpaid themes these are free themes so uh wow, you know in the very first session i have I, i think given you a glimpse of the paid themes also there is a difference in the paid themes and the free themes these free themes if we talk about are uh, lacking few things which would uh probably not be the right, right thing to go ahead and uh, set up across our website why is that i'll tell you because there are many things which free themes will want give us the paid themes are actually uh, easy to work with it comes with uh, everything being set up on its own the content part the dummy content and so forth also comes in in totality with the paid themes whereas with the free themes you don't get that okay chetanya so what i'm doing right now is 
I have selected one of this theme. I want to go ahead and activate it. Okay, I think I shall uh, wait for Chaitanya to come back and then we should continue. All right, so I'm just going to be in you for a while.
All right, perfect, Chaitanya, you're back. So we didn't actually proceed further. So what I was saying, Goresha, you, you're here, right? Perfect. So what you saw me doing across is that I went to the appearance section, then clicked on to themes, and here the themes are. I am clicking on to, I'm clicking on to add new theme. The moment I clicked on to add new theme, we've got so many free themes available, okay? So we'll start with the free theme only. Paid theme is something which we'll look into later on. But I've told you that there, there are benefits majorly with the paid theme because it gives you more functionalities, more uh, dummy content and so forth in shape as compared to the free themes. But we are beginning with the free theme. I'm typing in across the keyword, a keyword uh, which is in sync with what I am trying to build up across, okay? So my website is gonna be related to the education industry. So I'm picking and choosing one of the theme related to the education stuff. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick and choose the one which is there on the top. All right, so. Um, so I've got this theme being selected. I have, uh, when, once I go ahead and click onto this, I'll be going ahead and clicking onto install. So click onto install, and then it'll say activated also. Okay, now the activate button comes up. Click onto activate. Now the theme has been installed and activated, guys. Now you can go ahead and refresh your main website URL. If you have that in your new tab. Now you'll be able to see the overall look and feel is actually different now. Okay, we can go ahead and uh, change across many things over here as per our overall need. Okay, so as you saw, the look and feel of this particular theme was something like this, but what we got is something like this with lesser amount of content. This is something which is there with the free themes, with free themes, all the details, all the uh, data which is uh, there in the preview, we don't get to see that in the actual website. This will come in if you'll buy across a premium theme only. But to begin with, we'll go ahead and uh, you know, work around this part only. We'll work around uh, the free themes. Once you will get a good grip on, uh, what do you say, the free themes, then we'll go ahead and uh, work on the paid theme, okay? Now the next thing which I'm doing right now is I've gone on to the settings section, then clicking on to reading. Over here, I want a certain page to be my home page. Okay, not the blog page basically. So I've gone on to settings section, clicking on to reading, and instead of front page display, instead of a latest post page, I want a sample page to be my front page, and my post page is going to be created later on. Okay, and I'm going ahead and clicking on to save changes. Now my look and feel that my front page is going to be something different now. All right, so this is sample page basically. I can go ahead and edit this page by going back to my website and in the dashboard on the left hand side, you can see the pages section, click on to all pages and we can edit this page. So here's the, there's only one page which is set up. You know what happens with the paid theme? With the paid theme, all the pages have been set up, all the images have been set up. They all are there in place. All we have to do is we have to just go ahead and edit the stuff. But over here, the work is gonna be way too much. I'm clicking onto sample page and editing it across. Okay, now this is the home page basically. 
instead of sample, I'm going to type it across as home. Now, this is the dummy text, right, and so forth. I can go ahead and uh, change the text over here and, uh, all right, I can change the text and get across some other text right up over here and then can update it. Now you can see instead of sample page, now it says home page. Okay, this is the home page of the website now. Give me one second. Go no, one second. Sorry about that. So the setting static page, sure. So what we have to do is we have to go to the, after selecting the theme, go to the settings section, settings, and then click on to reading, reading, okay? Settings and then reading. Settings, and underneath setting is the reading page. And in the front page section, the front page, automatically it would say latest quote, post instead of latest post select onto a static page and select the page name so for you it would be this please reset the c panel view changed my c panel i'm sorry your c panel changed as in your dashboard your, your wordpress dashboard changed i'm sorry i i can get you uh Burish. All right, so you have changed something in your C panel. Why did you do that? I'll, I'll see to that. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll see to that. I'll change your theme later on. Okay. So just have a look over here settings and then reading. Okay. I'm saying uh, one thing, if you're not sure about something, please don't, uh, uh, you know, if you're not confident about something, please don't work onto it. Otherwise it, will, it can create problem. So settings and then reading part and underneath the reading, you can see the front page section instead of your latest post, post select onto a static post page and you can select the sample page and so forth and then click on to save changes. All right. So this is one thing guys through which you can go ahead and uh, set it up. Now I would want you to create across five pages guys. So as you can see the pages section is there, click on to add new and create five new pages for your website. Like for an example, one of the page could be like about us. Okay. You can go ahead and type in across, uh, you know, certain content, add in images by clicking on to add media and so forth. And then publish that across. So this is one page. You can go ahead and set up across more pages like this. This is one page. Similarly, you can set up across another page. So about this page, any achievements, any particular product and services, contact us page. So since you would be working across onto your SEO, if you recall the SEO part, in the SEO, we have done the keyword mapping and so forth, right? I hope you remember the keyword mapping part was being done and so forth. For that particular thing to be activated, we need uh, or to be worked upon, we do need several pages. As you can see now, these three new pages have been shown right across over here. About Nick, contact us and home. Make sense? Now I would want you to actually work around on your website, create across four or five pages and create across content for that. That's very important. All right, and then uh, 
you can go ahead and uh, review those recordings which were related to the SEO part. Review those recordings and select at least five keywords guides for your five web pages uh, for which you would go ahead and make efforts in terms of optimizing it and ranking it further. All right. That is another task, guys, which is for uh, next week. Create across five pages and make sure that you have selected five keywords for getting across your website being optimized. So you would have to do, you know, on page, off page optimization and so forth for your website. So get, get your web pages first set up by next week. We'll do step by step. Then you can go ahead with the SEO part later on. And we are done with email marketing. So tomorrow we're going to start with the uh, Facebook marketing, which is going to be the next thing. Okay. So Facebook marketing is going to be the next topic, which we're going to start with tomorrow. And for your, this particular week, uh, I am asking you to go ahead and set up across your website at least five pages and so forth. Make sense. Any questions so far? Let me know if you have any questions or if you're good. Goresh and Chaitanya. It's clear. All right. Thanks, Goresh. How about you, Chaitanya? Are you good? All right. Fine. Perfect. So uh, we, we will be meeting across tomorrow, same time. And this time, the link now is going to be the same. You will get across in your email box automatically. You don't have to send it across. And uh, we'll Take it further from there. Okay. So thanks so much for joining in today and we'll be meeting across tomorrow and we'll take it further from there guys. Okay. Take care then. Take care. Have a great evening. Have a great night and we'll meet tomorrow. Same time. Perfect. Bye-bye.